Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my high score run on the arms dealer. I haven't done a high score run on this, so it's another one off the list. We're doing, we're running on uh, Gunslinger, well, Blade Barrage, uh, Midnight Coop Super Primary, Salt Calamity, Energy, Thunderlord Heavy. Got the Shards of Galner on because I just got them today and just wanted to see what they were like. It's not a requisite for doing this, I'm not relying on them. Uh, I only fire my super two or three times, so you'll have them back. I actually got the Oath Keepers today as well. It's my first two exotic drops, armor drops on my Hunter. And I got my first one on my Titan. Three exotic armor drops, Forsaken armor. Crazy, got them all today. So we're running an 80 power handicap, which still keeps us competitive. I could have went 100, and that would have kept me at 542. It would have kept me at the 540, but kind of figured if you're, if you're watching this and you're a 620, 80 will still put you at the... The, the 540 so we've kept it at 80 uh arc singe heavyweight momentum and match game which is why i've got a void bow because there's void shields and that's how we're setting up now i've always said that the arms dealer is basically the the entry level into solo and nightfalls uh it's one of the easiest ones to solo it's very straightforward it's a great strike but it's an easy nightfall so anybody can do this any anybody can do this. I challenge anybody who says that this they 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 can't do it. Try it. Do it the way I've done it. You'll do it easy. If you don't have the Thunderlord, uh, the Hammerhead, the Forge, heavy, we'll do the we'll do the job as well. I I'm not sure if the Avalanche will the the Dawning, maybe that would as well actually. So. Before we get in here, the first things I'll say is, I say it all the time, if you go red bar, get your health back. You don't have to run momentum. You can run extinguish. Uh, it will give you roughly the same points. Change weapons every now and again. Get kills with your energy, kills with your primary, kills with your abilities, just to drop heavy ammo. And be aware of your position. Don't go and push too close to enemies. Don't... Even at... I think one of the biggest things that I've experienced is when people think that they're on top and this is easy, that's when they die. Because the, you have to pay the strike even though it's easy. And it is. As you can see, I went red. You can die in this strike. This, I love this. Look at that lightning chain in effect. That is why I don't go after the ads in the middle straight away. Take out the, the, the elites that push you, with, that are right in front of you. Then make your way across to where I was, and the ads will have bunched in the middle. And Thunderlord will just do some chained kills. Take out the sniper at the back, and I was fortunate, dropped me heavy. And all we're left with now is the, uh, the elite. Dodge reload, meltage, and that's this area cleared. When we get to the second area... What we're going to do is we're going to corral the dogs. That's why you'll see me run around in a small circle. You don't have to do it, but I do it just to get them all in one place. And then move off to the right-hand side as we're looking. In the direction we're going now, we'll move off to that right-hand side. Now, there is a ship. I do take it out, but you can take it out as soon as you want to save yourself the hassle. So, as you can see, we do a little, a little circle here. Get all the dogs. Get them all interested. There's two scions. We'll take those out. With melees, very simple. Turn round with what with Thunderlord, and all the dogs now have followed us. Uh, grenade for the the solar shield. Apart from him, he was the last dog. Uh, ship still firing at us, but it's, it's I I don't feel under any pressure. And the minute he got the minute he made me raid. Run off, proc momentum, and then take the ship. You could have took the ship down straight away. As you can see, it's no big deal. We've got one more Cabal Shielded Phalanx that's going to come round, and it, I'm going to put a little bit on him, take his health right down, and try to shoot his feet there, get me to flinch, and he'll drop me heavy. Now I'm going to fire my super and take out as many of these ads as I can with the super. And it just leaves a couple of enemies still up. And uh, that's this area done as well. It's, it's, it's not... It's not uh, very difficult Just not very difficult at all heavy ammo there and we'll move on to the next section when we get to the middle section we'll, 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 before we get to the middle section we're going to take out all uh, all the ads on on the ramp 
when we get to the ramp section just remember to use the pillars and the boxes you've got you've got blast you've got blast shields each side on the actual uh, lift itself remember to use those to your advantage so as you'll see I'll purposely move between the pillars to keep my, give myself because there's a ship each side you can take the ships out it's probably easier just doing that because it's it's all score but I was only interested in getting a hundred thousand so take out the ships that will help you massively I, I expect uh, and just be mindful of the shielded colossus at the end he will hide behind a box don't think you've cleared all the enemies because because the ramp has quite a decent size uh, because the ramp, it, he he might not show up on your tracker until you're, you know, too close for comfort. So as you can see, the two threshers there, you could take both of them out right now, you know, and just be done with it. I didn't bother because I didn't feel like there'd be too much of an issue. But this was my first attempt at doing this, and I, I you know, I normally just do like a an attempt to feel my way into it, and sometimes like this, it works really well and. In fact, a lot of the time I do it on my first attempt. I just do additional runs because I've I've noticed something that I could have done differently. And in this run, I probably could have got another twenty or thirty thousand by taking the threshers out. By you know, not just melting the boss at the end, but I wanted to do it before the fifteen minute mark, so I never lost any points. So this is what I was talking about: just moving in between the 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 pillars and those blast shields will will save you if you're in that place to it if you attack from where i did those blast shields will will save you from the rockets from the from the threshers which is why i never felt the need to take them down because i didn't feel in any any real damage so as you can see nothing showing up on where nothing had showed up until we were relatively close but just be mindful of of, of the, the gladiator not the closest the gladiator so 62,000, six minutes in, pretty easy. We'll have 100,000 by the time we come out of this room. Invisible marauders and snipers are the real ones you've got to watch here. So the tank, once we attack the tank, focus fire one leg. And then you, you just have to put a couple of shots on the next leg and the tank will be dead. Doesn't take a lot to take this tank down, especially the Thunderlord. So as you can see, even from this range get those crits and there you go it's really simple and we'll move to the right because we know we know we've got ads but I'm gonna be honest I forgot about all the snipers on the right there's four there's four immediately at the top of the ramp and then there's another one just to the side of it and uh, take out these cabal and there's another void shield for us to con contend with. And unfortunately for that legionnaire, he uh, jumped into the explosion. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, there we go. Four snipers. One, two, three, four. Make sure you take those out. And there's one more. When we jump up to activate the console, there's one just to what, you know, right across from us on the left. And as you see, when the closer you get, the more damage they do. And there we go. Now, now when we jump across, there's going to be an invisible marauder. There's going to be a few more up by the next console. So there's one right there. And this is that was a really good that was a really good throw with the throwing knives. So when we get up here, there'll be two just above us. If we can ever jump up here, this was this was a bit annoying, uh, and again, couldn't couldn't get up. We're all good. When we get up here, we're gonna get with heavy out. And we're just gonna, you know, we've got two waiting up here. So I've thrown my throw, my throwing knives, and grenade finished them off. So we've got two captains and some invisible marauders. Thunderlob makes very light work of them. We've got heavy. So we can expel a little bit, you know, just to keep make sure that we're not, you know, because if you, if you just come up here with primary, they, there's a real chance they would have killed me. You know, but the fact the Thunderlord just wiped them so quickly. And we've got one more 
sniper which dropped us heavy. Now we're going to get the second, the second tank down. Exactly the same, same as the first tank. We'll take out a leg and then focus fire. You know, spray. Well, actually, I think we might get a bit of damage off the spray because I spray the ads up here. They're all standing on a line, so focus fire the one side and then spray them, get that lightning effect. And that leaves us an elite, uh, a phalanx, as you can see the phalanx there on the on the right. This elite goes down really easily. Phalanx, and I'll use my super on the dogs, simply because I've got it. It's not required, but... And it's just like, all the dogs are dead, and then one tank of a dog just <laughs> runs right through. Unaffected by the super. Not a single F was given. Uh, so that's that is uh, that's the tank section. Now we're into the final section before the before the boss. Now the the boss, this section before before I talk about the boss, this section is just the wanted is is, is shielded, void shielded. So we're gonna go straight up to the right. As soon as we get in here, straight up to the right, take out the phalanx, and then we're gonna clear that first gangway. And the the, the wanted will be up there. So take the shield down and do a bit of meltage, and then come back down. There'll be, there'll be an elite and two. There'll be an ultra and two elites. So as you see, we could have just kept going, but why waste the heavy? And we want to clear this gangway, this walkway of all the ads. Get a bit of dodge reload going on here. And there you go. The wanted is dead. We've got one more turret because the the we got we got we got the melt up there so it took everything else out we're going to jump down we're going to use our super right below and take out the ads that are right down here and it takes out both of them which is nice and we'll just get a little a little bit of melty melty going on there we've got heavy here it's all good and take out the ads up here i'm not I, I, You'll see sometimes that I, I use the Thunderlord. It's not about, you know, hold the trigger down, you know. Sometimes I just feather it just to, you know, I don't, I don't want to waste ammo. Because, especially in these kind of strikes, your, your heavy is, you know, that's that's your, that's your big, big number. That's, you know, that's your finale. Your fatality, if you like, that's that's the one you're going to use to do the big damage. So you always want to have it available. And if you if it's why I kind of always try and switch weapons, always try and get a primary or an energy kill or just to drop me some heavy. I was unfortunate, but I still have 180 rounds, so I've still got enough to melt the boss. 62 in the mag, it's almost three mags worth. Uh. Throw my throne knives as soon as this drops. Get some get some damage on there. I haven't accessed the boss quite simply because I wanted to sh I wanted to do something when I went up here. Just show you guys. I get comments sometimes where people are saying that they've watched everything I've done and they still can't do it. I just wanted to do something in this. It's why I never you know could have cheesed the boss. I could have jumped all the way up and then jumped across as a pillar you can jump onto in the thunder load, but I melted them at the top of the the lift. I wanted to show you guys about uh, ad manipulation. So the boss was the boss is here. I could have unleashed at the top here. I could have just unleashed, and uh, he would have stayed in his animation, and I could have because essentially the Thunderlord. It, it's 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 a really heavy auto rifle, so you can run with it and walk with it. it you know. It's, it's very mobile. That's that's one of the beauties about it. Is is you're not like a rocket launcher. You don't have to be so finesse with it, you know. So what I'm doing now is I'm showing you. You can move the boss wherever you want him. Depending, he will move depending on your position, you know. You're not tied, and as you can see, I got him to melee. I was out the way by the time the melee finished. But I got him to melee, which keeps him on the ground that bit longer, which allows the damage. So, you can get him to move wherever you want. What we're going to do, though, is we're going to move to the left in a minute, and I'm going to actually melt him. Get him to come back up top.
and then I'm going to go down to the left, get him to go back up. See, if you hide, he'll come looking for you. This is what, so if you hide, he will come out, but if, if he sees you, so I want him back up top, so I'll go over here. He, he merely he was walking down to find me in that corner, but he merely, I'd already propped my momentum, so the melee was pointless. So what we want, we want to move out into the middle, and we'll just melt him. Now, like I'm saying, melting him before now, the only thing I would have done is I'd have done it faster. You know, I've one faced this boss so many times, so I'm not bothered about the time. I just wanted to show you guys that you can, there's plenty of ways to do this boss. And all Roman bosses bar Exodus Crash because it's just a mess of a nightfall. So that's the run. 14 minutes 30, I wouldn't have lost or gained any more time from coming up and melting him. I just wanted to show you, you can move bosses around. You don't, you, they're as much at your whims as you are theirs. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, if you want any of the other Nightfalls that are uh, available this week, I've done the high scores for them already. Check out the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.